Um, then the diced carrots. Pours add hot water. <laughs> morning everyone welcome to my channel again it's Ogeichi so in my previous video you see that we did a bit of morning prayer um, as we're preparing for Lent well you're not preparing for Lent, we're in Lent but we're preparing for um, Easter so we've been doing um, prayer times so pray with me videos so today I invite you to cook with me I'm preparing for lunch and I'll show you what I'm cooking today and you could copy and cook as well because we've got to eat, haven't we? Unless you're fasting for food, then don't cook. <laughs> Alright, come on then. Let me show you what I'm cooking today. So, I'm making um, So, what we're making today is butternut squash soup. So I've chopped up some butternut squash for you, um, just diced it up, okay. Um, I've got some mixed peppers, some leftover peppers that I use for other food. So um, yellow pepper, a bit of red leftover pepper and um, green sweet pepper. I've got some spinach, okay as well because I kind of like a bit of green sometimes in my soup so and I've got um, carrots I've washed these things up and I'll be dicing it soon so um, I've also got this uh, this is parsnip <laughs> I don't know where they yeah I just chopped a little bit because I like this uh, parsnip because it gives good flavor and smell to food so these are the ingredients we'll be using. I will show you the um, spices that I'll be using. So, so this, the spices I'll be using will be this um, mix spice by Swash. Um, I like using this a whole lot for my most of my food. You definitely see it in almost all my food. It tastes nice and it's nice. Then paprika, okay, yeah, um, garlic, salt, ginger, okay, it doesn't matter what ginger that you have, just use that. Ginger and um, maggi cube, okay. Maggie cube so these are things I'll be using you don't really need a lot to make butternut squash soup because it has a taste on its own with just salt but I like to give you a little bit of more tasty thing oh I've got this scotch bonnet pepper to give you a bit of spice to it so here are the ingredients again I'll be using to cook so I'll chop them up and we will start cooking soon It doesn't really matter how you chop this up because you're going to blend it anyways but I kind of like dicing it up okay For my carrots, I like taking out this lot of this thing, little stick that is in the center that holds it together, because it really doesn't give a taste to anything. It really has no taste to it. It's just water. So I stick with the main body of carrot.
notice our butternut squash has started bubbling up and we're just going to check to see if it's cooked. <coughs> So, a bit of knife taster will be good. It's still a bit hard. So we're going to start adding the spices and then leave the vegetable to the last. Okay, so I'm adding, I'm not really measuring so much of the spices that I add. I just add as I wish, or the amount that I think is all right. I'm just adding kind of little quantity of um, garlic because I'm only cooking little of that. Oh, so, forget that. I'm just <laughs> I just add ginger. Okay, that's ginger. The ginger stuff. I like ginger, so I kind of like adding a lot more of it. Um, <coughs> sorry. That scotch butter pepper is really getting to me. Oh gosh. <coughs> a bit of paprika. Ooh. Um, um this mixed spice that I'm uh, I mentioned from squash um swash. So just a bit of that and a bit of salt. I'm taking that out. Okay. Uh, that should do it. You can add more salt to your taste if you wish to. But I'm um, just using a little. And then I will. So we're back to cooking. <laughs> the if you check, yeah. The butternut squash is now quite soft, like I can literally look, I can't even pick it up, that's how, like literally that's how soft it's gone. So what I'm going to do is to add the vegetables and then give them some time again to cook. I'll add the spinach later as a garnish. So, I'm just going to let this vegetables cook, the butternut squash, and once that is cooked a little bit, begins the process of, so I'm just going to add a bit more salt, I don't think the salt came out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to let it cook, and then... Once it does that, we will start blending, okay? So cover it back up and let it cook, okay?
here is the finished look. I'm just going to let the vegetable cook a little bit. I've turned off the gas, so I want it to naturally cook. I'm just going to eat this one that I just got out. So that's the butternut squash soup done. I'm just going to eat this one because I'm hungry. I shall see you guys in the picture which shows the finished video. <laughs> finished food. Alright, take care. Thanks for watching.